Hello guys! Today in this video I want to show you how to make this. It's called a rain stick. It's an instrument that when you play it, it sounds like rain because you can hear all of the things falling. And it sounds like rain. So we are going to make rain sticks today. What do you need to make a rain stick? First, some paper. You're going to want to use one of these. It's a tube where paper towels from your kitchen go. If you don't have one of these available, maybe you have some of the smaller toilet paper tubes that you can tape together. I'm going to use just this one kitchen tube. You need a piece of paper cut so that it will fit nicely and wrap the tube. This is what makes it so colorful and beautiful. My son decorated this one for me. You could of course just use markers to decorate or whatever else. He glued some papers here. He's only two years old, so this is as good as it's gonna get. I think it looks pretty nice. Now, the other part of the paper that we need is to cover the ends of the tube so that all the rain doesn't fall out. So I'm going to do this on a separate paper here. I need to trace two circles. One, and two. Now I made my circles very far apart because I actually want to cut the circles bigger. So I'm going to lightly draw a circle that is bigger than the tube. And I'm going to cut. So I have everything I need so far for the outside of the rain stick. So let's first put this on. I'm going to use my glue stick. Lots of glue on there. And then roll up my tube. There it goes. All right. Perfect. My tube is decorated. And now I want to cover one, just one of the ends right now. I'm going to use a lot of glue, a lot of glue, because we don't want our rain falling out of the end. So I put a lot of glue around the end. Center that over the tube and push down. Definitely make sure that you have someone with pretty big hands to help you push this down so that the glue gets nice and stuck. If you don't trust your glue stick, you can always put tape around the edge also to help everything stay in. So I'm going to press it very hard. And now I have one of my ends sealed. You can't see through it anymore. All right, so here's where the magic happens for a rain stick. I'm going to take some aluminum foil. I want it about two times the length of my ring stick. Good. I'm gonna take my aluminum and squish it up like a long snake. All right, there we go. Of course, this will not fit in my ring stick like this, so I'm going to make it a spiral. I'm going to hold one end on the handle of a spoon and wrap it around. All right. This way we've made a cool spiral that we're going to put inside of our tube. There it goes. All right, it's all the way in there. Now, what makes that rain sound? It's actually a mixture of dry beans and rice. So I'm going to use about a quarter cup. You can do a mixture, whatever you like to do. There's some rice. That makes my light ring sound. And some beans. All right. This is going to go directly into the rain stick very carefully. Again, maybe get someone to help you with this. Do you hear it? it already sounds like rain. All right, now 
Now everything is in there. I'm going to add the other side here, close everything off, and then my instrument will be ready. Again, a lot of glue. You don't want all of your rain falling out, so put a lot of glue or use tape. That's another option. And we'll tap this here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all sides. Make sure it's nice and stuck. Maybe wait a few minutes for your glue to dry. But then after that, that's it. You have a whole new instrument called a rain stick. Now they say to play a rain stick, you should hold it at an angle and twist. It's a lot of steps for me, but let me try. Hold at an angle and twist. Not too bad. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Sounds like rain. We did it. There it is. How to make your own rain stick. I will see you in the next video. Bye.